All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
please join me to welcome our guest of honor, Mr. Edwin Tong, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, and Second Minister for Law, and Mr. Wee E. Cheong, Deputy Chairman and CEO of UOB. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of UOB, I'd like to extend a very, very warm welcome to the 2022 Painting of the Year Awards and Ceremony. My name is Henley Hofer, and I am delighted to be your presenter today as we all come together to celebrate the very best of Southeast Asian art and artists. And I'm equally delighted to be able to stand here together with you and look out on the sea of joyous and maskless faces after two years of virtual ceremonies. The UOB Painting of the Year is the longest running art competition in Singapore and is one of the most prestigious in Southeast Asia. The bank's flagship visual art program has uncovered and nurtured many artistic talents across Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. Tonight, we celebrate the outstanding works of 18 incredibly talented artists, including the coveted 2022 UOB Painting of the Year. Chosen from the four country winners from Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. Also joining us here tonight, we have some audiences tuning in from our live stream on UOB's official uh, YouTube page and for that I would like to take a second to say to them hello and welcome But now let's get the show on the road and if you may please join me to welcome Mr. Wee E. Cheong Deputy Chairman and CEO of UOB for his opening remarks. Mr. Wee, please of honor, <gasps> Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, and Second Minister for Law, Mr. Edwin Tong. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. A very warm, a very warm welcome to the 40, 41st UOB Painting of the Year Award Ceremony. After two years of virtual ceremonies, I'm pleased that we can finally get together in person to celebrate the outstanding works of artists from Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. Art inspires and connects people, reflecting culture, identity, and aspiration. Throughout the past two years of pandemic, the art community has shown resilience and unity in their response to adversity. With a gradual reopening of borders and economies this year, there are more opportunities for artists to pursue 
their artistic visions and to expand their horizon. In this year's <coughs> UOV painting competition, the entries continue to impress and to connect with the audience, demonstrating the creativity of artists to tell, to tell their stories on canvas. The winning artworks convey powerful message on pertinent themes like environmental, sustainability, reflections, and peace. As a leading patron of the arts in Asia, we remain steadfast in doing right by our community. We make art accessible to a wider audience through a diverse range of visual art programs, partnerships, and community outreach activities. Across our regional footprint, UOB continues to be the lead partner of international art fairs to profile our winning artists and to raise appreciation of art. At Art Jakarta 2022, we showcase 30 Southeast Asia artworks, putting our winning artists on the international stage. At Art Central Hong Kong 2022, an interactive art installation that combined traditional ink with digital technology was commissioned for visitors to experience mindfulness. In Singapore, we resume the physical sessions of artist conversation in schools, inspiring more than 1,600 students as our UOBPOY artists share their experiences and advice with these young creative minds. To further strengthen the art ecosystem in Singapore, recently UOB signed a three-year Memorandum of Understanding with the National Arts Council, Singapore last month, focusing on three areas of social impact. First, uplifting the value of art to help artists in building up their financial and business capabilities through the Artist Acceleration Program run by UOB Innovation Accelerator, the FinLab. Second, enabling the business of art by leveraging our wide network of like-minded partners in the hospitality, travel, and art sectors to help artists widen their exposure to new audience. And finally, in promoting the wellness of art through art work, uh, workshops and events at our wellness branches and concept branches at Polytechnics, we hope that more Singaporeans can acquire an appreciation of art from young. Through, through this strategic partnership, we aim to catalyze more ideas, resources, and partners in developing Singapore as a vibrant arts hub for Southeast Asia. In elevating forward thinking in visual art, today we are launching Sky Art Verse by UOB in Decentraland, the first immersive art theme park in the metaverse. Through this initiative, Now, through this initiative, we hope to present a differentiated experience to promote art appreciation, broaden the audience base, and provide new avenues for UOB POY artists to share their work globally. You will be seeing this year's winning artwork in this new and exciting virtual space. I'm also pleased to announce that next year, POY competition will be expanded to include Vietnam.
our fifth Southeast Asian market, and we hope this will open our eyes to the beauty of Vietnamese art. Mr. Edwin Tong, it is our honor to have you with us this evening to celebrate the achievements of the artists and to recognize the special role that play in our society. I would like to congratulate all our winners and thank our esteemed judges and partners who have helped make our journey in art possible. As we move into the future of art, we see exciting possibilities ahead and we look forward to fostering a thriving art ecosystem in Singapore and to enable artistic talents to scale greater heights. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Wee. Uncovering artistic talents and raising art appreciation have always been a long-standing commitment of UOB. This year, the National Arts Council Singapore has conferred the Distinguished Patron of the Arts Award to UOB for the 18th time. Tonight, we are honored to have Mr. Edwin Tong, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, and Second Minister of Law this evening as our guest of honor. Let's welcome Minister on stage. Mr. Wee Chung, Deputy Chairman and CEO of UOB. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to all of you, and I'm very pleased to be with you here at the 41st UOB Painting of the Year Awards ceremony. The annual UOB Painting of the Year competition is Singapore's longest running and most established visual art competition. As one of the most recognized competitions in the region, it has helped nurture many talented Southeast Asian artists and profile them to audiences both here as well as abroad. And I'm very glad to hear from Mr. Wee earlier that it will now be extended to Vietnam as well. The competition aims to uncover the next generation of artists and contribute to a deeper understanding and of course appreciation of contemporary art and of artists in Southeast Asia. In that way, it also puts Singapore on the map for artists, arts patrons, arts lovers, creating a more vibrant and sustainable art landscape, which is really important to our visual arts ecosystem. Art plays a very important role in our own lives as individuals and collectively also as a nation by uplifting spirits and giving expression to our shared and common heritage. It strengthens our sense of belonging, uniting us as one. Singapore has a strong and vibrant art community one that spans across different generations and also in a wide range of different art forms, from modern to contemporary arts and across different genres as well. Our arts landscape continues to reflect a rich and distinctive Singaporean identity, whilst always remain open and progressive. The government recognises the importance of the arts and is committed to the development of the arts ecosystem in Singapore. The National Arts Council has been working closely with the community to advocate for and support the arts sector. Over the past five years, the NEC has championed the growth of the arts sector through our Arts SG Plan 2018 through to 2022. Today, Singapore has a thriving and dynamic arts scene where local and international artists create and exhibit regularly. NAC will continue to develop more initiatives and public-private partnerships for the next iteration of its SG Arts Plan 2023 to 2027. As it continues to support the building of a connected society, a creative economy and also a distinctive, unique, special city. The government has also been deliberate in developing spaces for artists. We have been working hard on developing Kampong Java and 45 Armenian Street as incubation spaces for the development of young emerging artists. 
On top of that, the development and establishment of the University of the Arts is a marker of how we encourage young creatives to take their art education to the next level in Singapore. Arts patronage and philanthropy also plays a crucial role in the development of our local art scene. In this regard, UOB has remained an unwavering, staunch supporter of the arts, even as the community navigated the challenges of COVID-19 in the past couple of years. And in October this year, as you heard from Mr. Wee, UOB signed a memorandum of understanding with NAC to collaborate and commit to a strategic partnership to further develop the financial and business competencies of the Singapore arts economy and also support the development of a vibrant art scene in the community in Singapore. The MOU reflects how, through a committed partnership, the public and private sectors can work closely to do more for the art scene in Singapore. And I thank UOB deeply for your commitment to work with us to uplift the value of art, to enable the business of art, and promote the wellness of art in Singapore. I'm confident that this will contribute to a more sustainable and vibrant art scene here. And I thank UOB as well for its committed and generous support of the arts. As you heard earlier, UOB has been receiving the Distinguished Patron of the Arts Award from the NAC for the past 20 years. With the support of patrons like UOB, we have been able to encourage artists in their crafts such that they can continue to bring inspiration to Singaporeans and also deepen our sense of belonging and identity. Indeed, for the arts to flourish and grow, it is important to foster a thriving ecosystem through a strong and sustained partnership amongst the public, the private and the people sector through initiatives like the Start Fund and with partners like UOB. On this note, I encourage everyone to consider how we can ourselves individually and also collectively come together to support our arts whether as a patron, as a volunteer, or really simply as a member of the audience appreciating the art. Finally, a big congratulations to all the winners of the 41st UOB Painting of the Year competition. My warmest and heartiest congratulations to UOB for staging this for the 41st time, 41 years in a row. This is not an easy achievement, but one that has certainly contributed significantly to the build-up of Singapore, Singapore arts ecosystem, and continue to add to the vibrancy and innovation of art in Singapore. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister. Every year, the UOB Painting of the Year competition receives thousands of entries across Southeast Asia. Our luminaries in the visual arts world form our panel of judges across the region, and they spend hours assessing every entry to determine the best. Their dedication and expertise have been instrumental in uncovering and nurturing the next generation of Southeast Asian artists. We have six judges joining us right here this evening. From Indonesia, here tonight, we have Chief Judge Mr. Agong Hujat Nika Janong, Independent Curator and Lecturer, Faculty of Art and Design, Bandung Institute of Technology. And from our Malaysian judges, here tonight, we have Chief Judge Ms. Bibi Chu, Art Advisor, Academian, and Leading Contemporary Artist. And out of our Thai art Thai judges, we have Chief Judge Mr. Amrit Chusuwan, Curator, Art Mill, Songkla Art Center, and Leading Thai Artist, and Vice President for Arts and Culture, Silpa Korn University. And from Singapore, we are fortunate to have all our judges in the house. We have Dr. Bridget Tracy Tan, Director, Institute of Southeast Asian Arts and Art Galleries, and Academic Advisor, Southeast Asian Arts at Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts. Dr. Tan is also the Regional and Singapore Chief Judge. We also have Ms. Vera Ong, Owner and Art Consultant of Art2 Gallery, as well as Mr. Ivan Lam, Leading Malaysian Contemporary Artist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Let's now hear from Dr. Tan, our regional and Singapore chief judge of the UOB Painting of the Year.
Minister for Culture, Community and Youth and Second Minister for Law, Mr. Edwin Tong, Deputy Chairman and CEO of United Overseas Bank, Mr. Wee Chong, my fellow judges, Ivan Lam, Vera Ong, Agung, Agung Hujan Nika Janong, um, Ajan Amrit Chuswan, uh, Bibi Chu from Malaysia, artists, distinguished guests, friends, a very good evening. A wise man once said, and mind you, he only said this just last night. If a painting is good, there's no need to talk about it. It will speak for itself. I would like to acknowledge the contributions and sharing of experiences from all of my fellow judges who really bring so much life and new wisdoms to each conversation we have when we meet. We should not forget that art is indeed about the people and all people are essential. UOB has done a credible and splendid job. I was thinking to myself, do I use the adjective credible or incredible? And I now think that actually I can use both. UOB has done a credible and incredible and splendid job in focusing on the people, the artists, the judges, the country representatives whose passion inspires us through and through, and everyone, including the audiences and the people we work with who come together to make this a success year after year. So later, when you look at each artwork, remember the person behind it, the maker, their stories, the emotional connection to you and all around you that they make possible through their art. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tan. Let us now enjoy the opening performance by the award-winning instrumentalist from the Tang Ensemble, a leading Singapore arts company that reimagines the possibilities of Chinese music bridging traditional and contemporary together.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a round of applause for the amazing Tang Ensemble. Last year, on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of UOB Painting of the Year, a new and iconic award trophy was introduced and modeled after Vitalita, or Vitality in English. A bronze sculpture commissioned by UOB and created by foremost Italian sculptor, Miss Anna Chiara Scalini. This new award trophy aims to illuminate the passion of artists as they express their artistic vision. So ladies and gents, if you could turn your attention to the screen and let's take a look at the story behind Vitalita. In maybe just a couple minutes, just hold on here, thank you. <laughs> Maybe one more minute. <laughs> we really appreciate your patience, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what, ladies and gents, let's hear it for the crew. <laughs> Okay, and now let's take a look at the story behind Vitalita. It's been la ricerca di superare dei limiti e ha trovato in me la voglia proprio di, non dico di esplodere, ma di andare a ricercare qualcosa più in alto, guardando il cielo, che possiamo arrivare a fare grandi cose. We present the first awards category this evening, the 2022 UOB Painting of the Year Singapore Emerging Artist category. This category is open to all aspiring artists pursuing either a career or education in art or who simply have a passion for art. The finalists in the Emerging Artist category are Dylan Po, Lim Tech Seng, Nikki Yamaguchi, and Chen Shi Chai. Let's hear from each of them on their artistic inspiration and their purpose. I am out on the streets, capturing fleeting moments in time. They catch my attention, and I take a closer look. My work comes to life on canvas, marrying photography and oil painting to transform these images into something new. I mix colors to achieve the same sepia tone in vintage photographs, overlaying people with a translucency effect to communicate the transience of time. I kept him intentionally detailed to give him the attention he deserves. 
Ironically, his loneliness is amplified because no one notices him. We look, yet we don't really see. We hear, yet we don't really listen. To lend a voice to the voiceless, this is my purpose.我对美术的热爱一直都没变世界环境在一点一滴地改变画画让我培养出不同的世界观日本では自分の気持ちをストレートに表すことはそう簡単ではない。なんとなく自分の気持ちを隠して相手の期待に応える姿だけを見せてしまう時がある。だからこそ私は赤裸々な自分を表現するために繋がり合えるのだと思う。トランスフォーミング。私の人生における変化をもとに書いた作品です。女優として母として。そして今はアーティストとして。これは私が40歳を迎えるという次なる章の始まりです。この作品には恐れや喜び、そして興奮が詰
This year, in addition to the top four finalists, there are also two highly commended awards. This, this recognition draws attention to the immense potential of these artists and aims to inspire them to pursue their passion further. Let us welcome Mr. Wee Yi Chiong on stage to present the Emerging Artist Category Awards. And the 2022 Highly Commended Award for the Emerging Artist Category goes to Andrew Huang for his painting titled Garden City, which explores Singapore's cityscape, foundational values, and optimism for the future. Congratulations, Andrew. The next highly commended award goes to Joy Liu for her painting titled Self. It depicts herself standing at the crossroads of her life. Now, unfortunately, Joy could not be here with us. She was not feeling well. But Joy, if you are watching at home on our live stream, congratulations. The Bronze Award for the Emerging Artist category goes to Nikki Yamaguchi for her painting titled Transforming, which depicts the changes through her own life journey from an actress, a mother, and now an artist. Congratulations, Nikki San. The Silver Award goes to Chen Shitai for his painting titled An Inhumane War, which documents the destruction of war through his fine and detailed painting technique. It is the first painting created after his retirement. So congratulations, Shitai. The Gold Award for the Emerging Artist category goes to Lim Tek Seng for his painting titled Orange Garden. His artwork depicts the reaching of a state of an orange alert for heat warnings, a reminder of how we can all do our part for the environment. Congratulations, Tek Seng. And finally, the 2022 Most Promising Artist of the Year goes to Dylan Poe for his monochromatic painting titled Graying, where he lends a voice to the voiceless in the fast-paced world we live in. Now, Dylan is currently overseas serving his national service, so we have his father, Mr. Poe Kianhui, receiving the award on his behalf. Congratulations, Dylan. As we know, you are tuned in virtually. Ladies and gents, we would now like to invite our winning artist for a group photo if we could all come together thank you all right ladies and gents here we present to you the emerging artist category winners of the 2022 uob painting of the year Congratulations, artists, and thank you so much, Mr. Wee. We will now present the awards for the 2022 UOB Painting of the Year Singapore Established Artist category. This category is open to professional artists whose strong portfolios have been showcased in exhibitions. These artists are represented by a gallery or have received art accolades. The finalists are Guan Ming, Lester Lee, David Chan, and Patio Chang. And this is what inspires them. Art is about creation, expression, and exploration. It is both a mental and physical exercise. You don't just do it by hand. You also need to stretch your mind. For me, art has been an expedition of twists and turns, with one thing leading to another. Starting with my career in science, and returning as an artist. Tizimong reflects 
part of my experiences as a Singaporean and a father of three. I wanted to touch on two topics, schoolwork and mother tongue education. To review the monsters and for a child's anxieties and confusion to be visualized. My painting evolved from trying out different things. Markers, pastels, acrylic, the representational and the abstract. It's all about experimenting. Art and science are interconnected this way. To create with grit and passion, this is my purpose. Have you ever wondered if your kopi is handmade or machine made? Or what makes your kopi taste the way it does? I realized that when I take a deeper look at things around me, I gain new perspectives and see a whole lot of other things. Then I'll take a photo of it and add it into the art that I'm working on. To me, this piece is an invitation to be fully present and to be still. We live in a fast-paced world we are always moving, meeting deadlines, rushing for appointments. Stillness and rest are hard to come by. So I thought this painting could remind us to embrace a slower paced life by simply being more mindful of our surroundings and taking stock of what is really important to us. That is why I'm spontaneously painting anything that catches my eyes anything that makes me feel alive. To find containment in stillness and see the world around me, this is my purpose. Of all the living creatures, we are the most civilized. But have we truly overcome our primal side? I see humankind trying to maintain an odd balance with the animal instincts. Hidden in our psyche is a multiplicity of personalities. There are overlapping acts of violence and kindness. Be it the tragedies from conflicts or the triumphs of peace. Our human bond is what keeps us alive. To observe and archive the history of our species, this is my purpose. Life is a collection of moments. My first memories are of the Japanese occupation. Growing up through the post-war years, I tried to capture the bittersweet yesterdays. The characters in my paintings choose to celebrate life finding joy beneath the struggle and hardship of years gone by. Those memories remain strong in me. Gliding down Ang Siang Hill was inspired by the memories of my first field driving test. The fear and excitement of going down the steep slopes. 
filled with bittersweet memories, precious moments captured in my paintings. The moment may be temporary, but the memory lasts forever. My life story will continue to exist even when I'm gone. This is my purpose. Now, please do help me welcome to the stage our guest of honor, Mr. Edwin Tong, to present the Established Artist Category Awards. This year, in addition to the top four finalists in the Established Artist category, two artworks are being recognized as highly commended. And the highly commended awards go to Hong Sek Chern for her painting, Yellow Mist, where she imagines a future generation tackling global warming. Sending her our heartiest congratulations. She is unfortunately unable to join us today. And the next highly commended award goes to Karina Delicia Simon for her painting titled Tree, which is completed in full colored pencils to encapsulate the spontaneity and playfulness of a child in an artwork creation. Congratulations, Karina. The Bronze Award for the Established Artist category goes to David Chan for his painting, The Grand History, which portrays animals and humankind in their primal behaviors, drawing reference to the grand history. Congratulations, David. The Silver Award goes to Patio Chang for his painting titled Gliding Down on Siang Hill Road, where he transports us down a memory lane to the early years of Singapore, depicting the pure joy of riding on a trishore descending the hill. Congratulations, Patio. The Gold Award goes to Guan Ming for his painting titled Trick Xie Mon. The painting, which also means spelling monster, depicts the menace of schoolwork and the learning of our mother tongue language as the monsters that society, parents and children have to conquer together. Congratulations, Guan Ming. And finally, our top award, the 2022 UOB Painting of the Year, goes to Lester Lee for his painting titled A Painting About Nothing and Everything. It explores a spontaneous juxtaposition of images to demonstrate the heart of slow living in a fast-paced world, reminding one to live more mindfully, be fully present, and to appreciate what is truly important. Congratulations, Lester. All right, can we invite the rest of our artists on stage to gather for a group photo? And once again, everyone, congratulations to all our established artist category winners of the 2022 UOB Painting of the Year. Congratulations, artists, and thank you, Minister. You may all return to your seats. Now, our final award of the evening is the 2022 UOB Southeast Asian Painting of the Year. This regional prize is awarded to the most outstanding of the four UOB Painting of the Year, Painting of the Year Award country winners from Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand. 
And here are our four finalists. Most of my past paintings have been more abstract or provocative. But recently, I have been trying to unlearn and relearn this whole painting process. Dancing between abstract and figurative style, I'm actually rediscovering myself. Which is why, in this stage of my life, my work is meant to be an invitation to ponder, not a definition of what is. All these things that I see inspire me. I could be talking to you now and adding you into my painting later. To tell you the truth, if I could only have one job, I would choose art, because this is my true passion. It is my passion to convey a topic and let you think about it. To observe the painting and let it observe you as well. Then you will find your answer. To observe, to question, to ponder. This is my purpose.你看到这幅地图时但很快这就是为什么我想更好地理解各种创作的材料โลกที่สมบูรณ์แบบสําหรับคุณแก่นของชิ้นงานดิโทเปียมันคือการโอบรับทวิภาวะของชีวิตในอีกทางหนึ่งงานชิ้นนี้ยังเป็นสิ่งที่เตือนให้นึกถึงความรักตัวผมและแ
yang bisa dilihat sebagai tanda dari sebuah proses pertumbuhan. Peristiwa ini mengingatkan saya akan para pekerja yang selalu bekerja terus menerus meski harus berpisah dengan keluarganya. Karya ini merupakan persembahan saya untuk mereka yang selalu bekerja dan tetap bekerja ya dan nanti bagaikan mesin. Seringkali kita lupa mereka juga manusia yang punya rindu pada rumah dan keluarga. Saat saya menggambar, saya membayangkan bagaimana perasaan itu. Kita semua punya gambaran akan impian kita masing-masing dan kita bekerja keras untuk menggapainya. Tapi setelah sampai di titik itu, akan terus muncul hasrat yang baru yang ingin kita raih. Karena sesungguhnya hasrat itu tidak pernah ada habisnya. Berlomba-lomba untuk memperoleh produk konsumer yang selalu baru adalah hal yang tidak penting. Kita terlalu terpaku dengan apa yang kita bangun sampai kita lupa untuk apa dan siapa kita membangun. Untuk selalu bekerja keras membangun masa depan, inilah tujuan saya. All right, ladies and gents, let's invite our UOB Painting of the Year country winners up on stage. From Singapore, Lester Lee for his painting, a painting about nothing and everything. From Indonesia, Farhan Siki for his painting, Build, Destroy, Rebuild, the modern Sisyphus. From Malaysia, Sia Zi Lin for his painting, DP, Skin of Land. And from Thailand, Chom Rawi Suksom for his painting, Dystopia. And let's also welcome back on stage our guests of honor, Mr. Edwin Tong and Mr. Wee Yi Cheong to present the top regional award for this year's competition. Ladies and gentlemen, the top winner of the night, the prestigious 2022 UOB Southeast Asian Painting of the Year goes to... Congratulations, Chom Rawi Suksom for his artwork titled Dystopia, illustrating a present world of great suffering or injustice with characters battling environmental ruin, technological control, power and wealth inequality, natural disasters and oppression. We would now also like to invite our four country winners to take a group photo with Minister and Mr. Wee. As well as our established and emerging winning artists from Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand back on stage for a group photo. That's right, if all of our artists could also just join us on stage for one huge group photo. Thank you. We can come over here on the other side and fill it up. That's right, we can come over and join them on the left. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the winning artist of the 2022 Painting of the Year. And 
Andrew Huang, Nikki Yamaguchi, Chen Tzu Tai, Lim Tech Seng, Karina, Karina Delicia Simon, David Chan, Patio Chung, Guan Ming, Lester Lee, Farhan Siki, Raveleka, Xia Zi Lin, Wei Qi Xiong, Chom Rawi Suk Som, and Nawin Pon Pong. All right, artists, you may return to your seats. Minister and Mr. Wee, though, please do stay on stage. We would now like to present a token of appreciation to our guest of honor. The painting 11 Views of Singapore City is by Keen Tan, our three-time UOB Painting of the Year Award recipient. Keen is also the Singapore Country winner last year. This painting provides a refreshing perspective of Singapore in the new millennium. Inspired by geometric simplicity, they were generated with artificial intelligence and depicts a flourishing nation built through time and new age automation. All right, thank you very much, Minister and Mr. Wee. All right, ladies and gents, up next, we have once again the Tang Ensemble coming back up together with our very own homegrown musician and singer, Benjamin Kang. The Tang Ensemble is a leading not-for-profit Singaporean arts company that reimagines the possibilities of music derived from our Singaporean Chinese heritage. The music group bridges between cultures East and West. The Tang Ensemble boasts musical influences from both the traditional and the contemporary. The music group is a collective of music educators, scholars, and award-winning instrumentalists. And so, ladies and gentlemen, let us now welcome the Tongue Ensemble back on stage as well as, like I said, our homegrown Singaporean musician and singer, Benjamin Kang. In just a few minutes, they will be performing a very, very, very special rendition of one of the most iconic Chinese songs alive. I'm sure you'll know it instantly when you hear it. And in just a very short minute, they will be gracing us with an outstanding performance. <clears throat> Thank you so much for your patience. I believe we are almost ready. I'd just like to extend another congratulations for all the winners being here today with us in this wonderful Victoria Theatre. It's been two years of disconnection, but at the same time, a lot of connection with the recent events. So to have everyone in one space truly celebrating artists and the arts is such an honor for all of us to be here. And especially those of you artists and your friends and family who traveled especially to Singapore for this very, very special moment. I hope that you absolutely revel in it and celebrate later on as the evening continues for the night is still, well, I don't even think it's night. The evening is still very, very young. All right, are we all ready?
<laughs> okay, now, ladies and gents, if we can put our hands together one more time and welcome up on stage to perform fabulously the Tong Ensemble, as well as Singaporean musician and singer Benjamin Kang for their special rendition of The Moon Represents My Heart. Enjoy. Ladies and gents, once again, let's give a giant round of applause to the Tang Ensemble and Benjamin Kang. A special rendition of, like I said, one of the most iconic Chinese songs of all time. Thank you very much. Now, over the past 41 years, UOB has helped more than 1,000 winning artists to showcase their art artistic talent and vision, realizing their dreams, a million dreams. And uh, before we get to our next performance, I would just performance. I would just like to acknowledge the crowd because I do believe that we have some parties that have flown in from various parts of Southeast Asia. And just to get a gauge of who truly made the flight, the effort, maybe I can hear from you, dear audience, representing the different countries. So, out of curiosity, in the house tonight, anyone from Malaysia? Yes, where are you at? <laughs> Malaysia represent, yes. <laughs> 
Um, well, what about Thailand? Woo! Oh, I'm proud. Yes, Thailand. Well, the next on the list, Indonesia. Indonesia, loud and proud. I like that. I'm not even going to ask about Singapore, you guys. We all, we all know. <laughs> um, but once again, why don't we applaud everyone and all of us, as well as the artists and their friends, for being here tonight. It really is a memorable moment for all of us. Okay, well, like I said, a special performance up next, A Million Dreams. For the grand finale, please do help me invite Benjamin Kang to take us to the brightest star and A Million Dreams with the 37 winning artworks from the best of this year's UOB Painting of the Year. Enjoy. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy They can say, they can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we design And every night I lie in bed the brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be A vision of the one I see A million dreams is all it's gonna take A million dreams for the world we're gonna make There's a house we can build Every room inside is filled With things from far away Special things I compile Each one there to make you smile On a rainy day they can say, they can say, it all sounds crazy They can say, they can say, I've lost my mind well, I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we design Every night I lie in bed the brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be A vision of the one I see A million dreams is all it's gonna take Oh, a million dreams However big However small, let me be part of it all Share your dreams with me You may be right, you may be wrong But say that you bring me along To the world you see To the world I close my eyes to see I close my eyes to see Brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me A million dreams, a million dreams A vision of the one I see A million dreams, it's all it's gonna take For a 
a million dreams The world we're gonna make For the world we're gonna make All right, ladies and gentlemen, A Million Dreams by Benjamin Kang. And with that, we hope that you have had a fantastic evening and a memorable night. Before everyone gets up, can I please invite you to just remain in your seat for a couple more minutes as Minister and Mr. Wee take their leave to the Winner's Showcase exhibition at Sinfonia Restaurante at Level 1. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here at the 2022 painting of, UOB Painting of the Year Awards Showcase. I may now like to invite you to please proceed to the Winners Showcase Exhibition and Cocktail Reception to view the winning artworks and as well meet our winning artists. In the meantime, we would also like to invite you to view the winning artworks at our newly launched Sky Artverse by UOB in Decentraland, the first immersive art theme park in the metaverse. Find out more at uobandart.com. And also, don't forget to collect your special gift after the visit to the exhibition. Okay, ladies and gents, this is it for me. Thank you all so much for being such a wonderful audience and for being so supportive with us tonight. We look forward to seeing you and look forward to your continued support. My name is Hanley Hofer, and it has been an absolute pleasure being your host here this evening. Thank you.